Welcome back to Grade 4, Chapter 1, Go Math. Today we will be working on Grade 4, Go Math, Unit 1, Place Value, Addition and Subtraction to 1 Million. This is Lesson 1.8, Problem Solving, Comparing Numbers with Addition and Subtraction. Boys and girls, you are going to need um, your wipe whiteboard um, with the marker and the eraser or you're going to need um, extra paper to work these problems out because these are all word problems and you will be asked to work each problem out by drawing a diagram, a picture, um, or some way to show how you got the answer. Let's go ahead with problem solving lesson 1.8. Um, it says um, problem solving comparison problems with addition and, and subtraction. Our essential question is how can you use the strategy draw a diagram to solve, co solve comparison problems with ad addition and subtraction. Look what it says. Draw a diagram. I know when you start your test in the next day or two for um, lesson one, you will be asked to draw diagrams. So let's make sure that we practice them today. Unlock the problem. It says hot air balloon festivals draw large crowds of people. The attendance of the first day of one festival was 17,350. On the second day, the attendance was 18,925. How many more people attended the hot air balloon festival on the second day? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So it says first, what do I need to know? Write what you need to know. Well, it's asking you here, how many more people attended the hot air balloon festival on the second day. I need to find out how many more people attended the festival on the second day. What information do I need? Well, on the first day, there were 17,350. And on the second day, there are 18,925. So it says, how will I use the information? What strategy can I use? And it says, I can draw a diagram or use a bar model. This is the bar model, boys and girls. And what they've done is they've put the higher number on the top, the lower number on the bottom, and the lower number, of course, is a smaller bar than the bigger number. It's kind of like an estimate and it puts this little U type thing down here that shows there's something there's there's one is larger than the other. So it says I can draw a bar model and write an equation to re represent the problem. OK. Um, so what I did was um, I wrote the um, 18,925 here, the 17,350. Then I came over here and I wrote the equation. And now we're going to solve the equation. 5 minus 0 is 5. Can I take 5 from 2? No. I need to borrow 100 from this 900, make that 800. Oh, it's always so hard. And put that 100 here. So now I have 120. Minus 50, 12 minus 5 is 7. 8 minus 3 is 5. 8 minus 1, or 8 minus 7 is 1. So I'm going to put in here 1,575. I forgot to do that, so I'll put it in now. So it says... 18,000, let me get this up, 18,925 subtract 17,350 is 1,575. So 1,575 more people attended the festival on the second day. Let me um, do the inverse operation to make sure. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. 5 plus 3 is 8. 1 plus 7 is 8. 
and my answer is correct. So this is the model that I used because it wants me to draw a model. It says up here a diagram. A diagram is a, is a type of model. Okay. Now this time we're going to mix things up a little bit. This time I want you to try the problem just like we did on the other slide. I want you to try this problem. During an event, a hot air balloon traveled a distance of 5,110 feet during the first trip and 850 feet more during the second trip. How far did it travel during the second trip? I want you to think about this problem I want you to write it out just like we did on the other slide um, and then we'll go over it in just a few minutes. Okay, so pause the video, complete this page, and then start the video again. Okay, boys and girls, let's see how you did with this problem. It says, during an event, a hot air balloon traveled a distance of 5,110 feet during the first tree a first trip and 850 feet more during the second trip. How far did it travel during the second trip? In my head, I'm asking myself, well, if it traveled 850 feet more the second trip, I'm going to have to add, okay? That's what I'm saying in my head. This word more is telling me I have to add. It says, what do I need to find out? I need to find the number of feet the balloon traveled during the second trip. What information do I need? Well, I will use the fact that the balloon traveled 5,110 feet during the first trip and 850 feet more during the second trip. And it says, how will I use it? How will I use the information? Well, I'm going to draw a diagram or bar model. All right, so here's the bar model. I don't know this first number. I don't know this top bar is how many it traveled the second trip. I know that it traveled 5,110 feet the first trip and 850 feet the second trip. Look at where I have this 850 here by the U and then that's going to equal this, okay? So if I take 5,110 and I add 850, well, let's do that. Um, zero plus zero is zero. Six plus one, or five plus one is six. Eight plus one is nine. Five plus zero is five. So. 5,110 plus 850 equals 5,960. So what's going to go in this right here? 5,960. 5,960. Oh, let me get that right for you, boys and girls. I hate when that doesn't come out right. Um, let me get a five, a good five there. 5,960, okay? So, it says, so the balloon traveled a distance of 5,960 during feet during the second trip. Okay, it says, is your answer, answer reasonable? Explain how. Well, yeah, 5,960 feet is reasonable because 5,000 plus 1,000 equals 6,000, and 5,960 is close to 6,000. Okay? Whew. How'd you do on that? Did you do okay? All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to do this page together because um, I want to make sure you have more practice of doing this because you will be asked to do this on your test. Make sure that you get everything filled in because when you take your test, you're going to be able to use your worksheets that you've been doing to help you solve your problems on your test. Let's look at this. It says hot air balloons are able to fly very high altitudes. A world record height of 64,997 feet was set in 1988. 
In 2005, a new world record of 68,986 feet was set. How many feet higher was 2005 record than in 1998? Well, okay, we're going to um, make our bar. And of course, 1998 was the lower number, so we're going to put 64,997. 2005 was the higher number, 68,996. We need to write the problem to solve it because it, wanted, it wants to know um, uh, how many feet higher was 2005 than um, 1988, so we're going to have to subtract. Um, 68,996 subtract 64,997, and when you do that, you get a, um, um, an answer of 3,989. So, um, how much higher was 2005 than 1988? Um, it was 3,989 feet. Okay, um, so it says. What if a new world altitude record of 70,000 feet was set? How many feet higher would the new world record be than 2005? Well, look what we did over here. We did the whole the thing all over again. Um, the new record was 70,000 feet. In 2005, it was 68,986. So I subtract the two. I didn't do that on here, but I have to do this. I subtracted it and I get 1,014 feet. Okay, you see what I did? I put the new record, I'm going to subtract it from 2005, and I get 1,014. Again, I didn't do this part because I don't have any room. I expect to see this from you. Okay. Let's look at number three. It says, last year the ticket sales for a commercial hot air balloon ride, the commercial, last year the ticket sales for a commercial hot air balloon ride were $109,076. This year the ticket sales were $125,805. How much more were the ticket sales this year? Okay. So, um, this year it was 125,805. Last year it was 109,076. If I subtract these two, because it wants to know how much more were the ticket sales this year, I need to subtract. I'm going to get 16,729. Again, I didn't, you did not see me write this out because I don't have room here, but I expect to see this from you. Let's look at number four. A musician's first album sells 234,499 copies the first week it was released. During the second week, another 432,112 albums were sold. How many more albums were sold during the second week than the first week? Well, look, here is the second week. Here is the first week. What do I have to do? I have to subtract. And if I subtract like I did here, 432,112 subtract 234,499 I get an answer of 197,613 albums all right now boys and girls make sure you fill this out I'm telling you you're gonna see this on your test you're gonna have your workbook to go through and and look at the different types of problems um, that they're asking you to do when you answer your test questions so make sure you have this and use this as a tool Okay, boys and girls, now you are on your own. I want you to do five, six, seven, and eight on your own. Stop the video, complete the page, and go to the next page to check your answers. Okay, boys and girls, here is the answer to that page. If you had any problems, any problems at all, Make sure that you contact me and we will go over it before you take your test. This is really important. If you did not get anything right 
or if you just don't understand what you're doing, contact me and we'll go over it. All right, here is your independent, independent practice, page 53 and 54. Do the page, take a snapshot of it, send it to me, I'll grade it, and if, you're, if you missed anything, we'll go over it. Here's page 54. Make sure you work everything out, draw the pictures, do the subtraction and addition problems, whatever you need. I need to see all of your work. Send a snapshot of it to me, I'll grade it, and we'll go from there. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of lesson 1.8, and it's the end of lesson one. You should be ready for your lesson one test. Make sure you contact me when you think you're ready to take your test. I will send you your test and good luck. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Awesome Possum Classroom at 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com. I will send you the link. Have a great day.